Hello there and welcome. I'm Bob Proctor and I want to talk to you about the law of increase. You see, I'm betting that you would like everything in your life to increase. I bet you want more love. I bet you want better health, more energy, more money, more business. And that's very natural. You should want it. But you've got to understand you can have it. That's the beautiful truth. There is an infinite source of supply. I love the way Thomas Troward put it. When you're dealing with infinite, you can never take more than your share. You see, if we had a pie, and we'd cut the pie maybe in six pieces, we can all relate back to this when we're kids. If you wanted a bigger piece of pie, someone had to get a smaller piece of pie. But we're not dealing with a pie. We're dealing with creation. And we can make a bigger pie, and then everyone can have a bigger piece. Increase in life is based upon laws. Do you know there's a a marvelous series of programs that you probably have and you probably love, The Science of Getting Rich. In fact, it was The Science of Getting Rich that The Secret was based on. It was a science of getting rich that Rhonda Byrne read. Her daughter gave it to her, and everything started to happen in her head. Well, Lloyd Conant gave me the science of getting rich in 1968. It wasn't long after that, and I come across Raymond Hollyoll's work on the law. I was looking for a book or a program that explained the law in practical, everyday person's thinking way of life. And I was having difficulty finding it. I had books on the law, but most of them were so heavy, the average person would have just died trying to understand them. And I got picked up at O'Hare Airport in Chicago one day by a lady that was taking me to the hotel to do a seminar. And she had a bench seat in the front of her car. And beside her was a big brown paper shopping bag. And when I get in the car, she says, you want to look in that bag? I found a new bookstore. And I put my hand in, and I pulled out this green book, Working with the Law, by Raymond Hollywell. And I looked at her, and I said, you've got one less book. I'm taking this book with me. I have attracted this book. I have been looking for this book for a long time. Now, in that book, Hollywell talks about all this information that we're sharing with you. Mary Morrissey and I have uh, studied the same material for a long time, and we've created this program that you're involved in right now. And you see, this series of videotapes is really just an overview of these laws, and the law of increase is one that you really want to understand. If you're going to increase anything in your life, you have to praise it. Now, you may say, well, how do you do that? Well, in The Science of Getting Rich, the seventh chapter is on gratitude. And the more grateful you are, the more you're going to receive. But you've really got to be grateful. Now, praising and gratitude are very much along the same line. See, we want to praise our source of supply. We want to praise spirit. We want to praise abundance. And it's going to come into our life. Now, let me share something right out of the book. Listen very carefully to this. Have you ever had someone condemn or criticize your efforts when you were given the best you thought you had and really tried to please them. I'm sure you have. I know I have, and I'm sure you have. Didn't you feel like folding up and just quitting? Just say, it's over. Perhaps you even felt like quitting the job and letting someone else worry about it. Well, least of all, such an experience suppressed your interest, your zeal. You see? And you did not desire to do better. Now, Hollywood is mentioning this. That's how one reacts when the law is reversed. Whereas when someone praises you for effort, you feel like expanding and doing better, trying harder to be more perfect. Your interest becomes greater because of that pleasure. And within your happiness, you bring happiness into your work and all around you. It is a well-known fact that every plant is responsive to praise, for I have even seen flowers praise to longer life and beauty. We say a person that praises the plants has a green thumb. 
to say that person just has a green thumb. They've got such beautiful gardens, but they love their gardens. They love them. They send nothing but loving energy to the plants. Well, when you send loving energy to your source of supply, you're going to find that increase is just automatically going to happen. You're just going to get more. Do you know, I have read time and time again, and I experienced this myself, so I know it to be true, that people that are very successful in something have a very difficult time differentiating between work and pleasure. And that is because they love what they're doing. They're forever, they're forever grateful for being able to do what they're doing. They do praise it. And the more you praise what you're doing, or the people that's working with you, the more you're going to win. It's been proven that a failing business can be praised into success. Suppose lost friends have returned their affections when the law of praise was used. Think about this. When you put good into anything, good's going to come back. We started this whole series out with thinking. We pointed out that every great leader that has ever lived has been in complete unanimous agreement that we become what we think about. Well, if you think bad thoughts and if you're looking at things and you're looking at the downside and you're condemning and criticizing everyone, what kind of a vibration are you in? But if you're looking at what they do good, you're looking for the good in everything and you're praising them, what happens? Do you know that a child that is raised with criticism grows up very insecure human being? It's true. This is a known fact. The child that's raised with praise grows up very confident. The child that's raised with criticism usually struggles throughout their life. The child that's raised with praise goes on to become a great leader and very confident. This is so obvious. It's true in plant life. It's true with money. It's true with your friends. Praise your friends. Praise what they're doing. I guarantee you they're going to think better thoughts of you. They're going to be looking for what they can do for you. Now, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure this out. Praise changes our observation, our whole outlook of life. In the past, we were in the habit of seeking um, our weaknesses and failings, as well as the shortcomings of others. But now we see differently. You see, praise changes your perception. Now think of this for a moment. If you're going to praise people for what they're doing, you're first going to have to look for something they're doing good. And if you're looking for something they're doing good, what you're doing is you're using one of your higher faculties, one of your creative faculties called perception. You're looking for it. You're seeing the good in it. Then when you see it, you want to make them aware that you see it. Well, this doesn't just work with people. This works with plants. It works with animals. It works with all of life. Because we've got to realize that intelligence is omnipresent. Intelligence, there's intelligence in a garden rock. There's just no conscious awareness of the intelligence. See, intelligence is omnipresent. We're talking about a power that's 100% evenly present in all places at the same time. Yet this power operates in a very exact way. It's by law. So it only makes sense that if praise works with people, it works with plants, works with animals, it works with all of life. And if we're going to praise anything, we're going to have to see the good in it. We want to look for the good, and then we want to praise it. Now, if I were looking for the bad, you're not going to praise bad. You're going to criticize it. You're going to condemn it. You're going to feel bad. You're going to feel sorry for yourself. But if you're using your perception to find the good in life, then it's going to become easy to praise it. Be grateful for it. See, praise is a, it's a great concept. And you want to know something? It is the basic foundation governing the law of increase. If you want to increase anything in your life, begin to praise it. Be grateful for whatever you've got and see greater good coming. Now remember, we talked about receiving. You've got to be open for it. You've got to be relaxed. Well, if you want to receive, increase. You've got to be open, you've got to be relaxed, and you've got to praise what you've got. I know that you're enjoying this series. I know you are, because I'm enjoying doing it. I'm enjoying sharing this. Now, if I'm enjoying sharing this with you, I know that you're enjoying receiving it. 
What I want to suggest is you do what I'm doing. It works. It's helped me earn millions of dollars. It's helped me build an enormous abundance of friends all over the world. It's helped me build a business right around the world. So I want you to do what I'm doing. I am enjoying sharing this. And I'm praising you for using it. You go and extend it. Let's keep this energy flowing. To me, through me, to you, through you. Who are you going to give it to? You know it works. You want to increase? Praise what you've got and share it. Willingly give it and graciously receive it. The law of increase is based on a fundamental principle, praise. This is Bob Proctor. Thank you.